Oh, epic. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Inside. If you remember, if you remember at the end of the last episode, we were outside this huge wall. Um, this is the wall that Trump built, and holy crap! <laughs> falling, oh god, falling in deep now. Uh, okay, yeah. So, so we see we have a prisoner over here. See if we can lift the. No, it doesn't look like the gate is gonna lift with just us alone. So maybe, you know, as per usual, we need to go and find some more slaves. <laughs> we'd find some more slaves to do our bidding. But um, it has been a little bit since I did the last episode of this. Um, I got caught up working on my last video, so I'm super sorry about uh, the wait for this episode, which I don't think it was, it wasn't that bad compared to most of my other series. <laughs> which is good. You can hear some bomb, if you turn up your headphones, you can hear some bomb blasts. It sounds like bomb blasts in the background or some crap. I don't know exactly what's going on, but what's this do? Is this a, is it, I guess it needs power. I don't really, I'm not, not exactly sure. Um, oh yeah, this looks like a power switch right here. Oh, there's a sleigh over there. Hopefully none of these guys are gonna attack me. It looks like he's standing on some sort of uh, switch, but yeah. See, if you can hear, those bombs are much, much, much more prominent now. It's kind of cool, because you can probably hear it in the more bassy part. 19. And when I, okay, when I step on it, it's 18. Okay, so it looks like, uh, I like the numbers there too. I like the numbers they use for that. It's very, they're almost post-apocalyptic looking numbers, but um, it looks like what I'm gonna have to do is gather a ton of slaves and this, ele okay, as they say, the elevator, right? This elevator is now going to work for me. So we're gonna go down to the bottom floor and see exactly what sort of slaves we can find <laughs> to take advantage of this sort of situation, you know? You gotta make sure when you're uh, in this sort of situation that uh, you can control people's minds that you use them to your advantage, you know? That's that's what this game's all about. It's all about, we need to make sure that we can manipulate and control people to do our bidding and that'll you know, make us happier as people overall as a generation. Um, it's, it's funny because, uh, you know, when you think about like the actual implications this game is trying to talk about, this looks like a huge cart. Oh, can I actually pull it? No. Can I? It looked like it moved. I don't think I can. I don't think I, I don't think I can pull it unless I have more people. So it's sort of like a, it's sort of like a Pikmin situation. Like I don't know if you guys have played Pikmin, but the more Pikmin you have, the a lot of stuff has like numbers written on it, and the more Pikmin you have, the more stuff you can move that has like higher numbers on. It. Like you have to have twenty Pikmin to move like a box or something like that. I need to get to reviewing those games and playing those games. They're so much fun. So we have. Uh, I'm guessing I can move. Yeah, I can move this. Sorry, I got something in my throat. It hurts. But no, anyways, what I was trying to say as far as like the implications like on society goes. Okay, that, so that thing goes back up. All right. We're going down into the depths. We're going down into the depths to find these slaves, guys. And so we have a ladder that I can't reach. Okay. Um, oh, here's some slaves. There you go. Oh, there's there's the mind control device up on top. There you go. We got some, we got some water. We got some water here go down do you, hopefully I don't uh, drown yeah okay no I'm good it's kind of weird because it seems like uh, it seems like this kids uh, I don't know like it changes like how much how much breath he has seems to change each time he goes in the water I know I wonder if that's like an intentional thing on the games part like I wonder if they did that on purpose I, I mean I have no idea if it actually does but it seems like sometimes you can't stay in the water for very long other times you can. I don't, I don't really get that, but it's whatever. Um, and okay, I actually can climb up this. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to do sort of like a Donkey Kong, uh, Donkey Kong Country kind of like swing on the vines. Kind of, is there anything over? No, there's nothing over there. Uh, uh, like a swing on the vines kind of thing to get to where we need to be. Remember that in Donkey Kong Country or Donkey Kong 64 for those of you who never played Country. I didn't. I only played a little bit of Country, so so, so I know some of you probably think, "Nippy, you can't even fucking know, dude." You never played those games. Anyways, we're gonna, I think we're gonna get to something good here in just a second. Um, but the implications on society, it's really interesting. Cause uh, if you think about it, like media does control a lot of like what people think. And uh, I don't wanna say like it's always weak-minded people. Oh, there you go. Oh shit, oh, they catch you. Okay, so now I permanently have the mind control device on my head. So now this is literally like a Pikmin situation where I'm leading these, unfortunately these are people. 
Hmm. Okay, so we have the ladder there, but I think doesn't the, didn't this thing? Yeah, that thing raised back up. Oh, okay, so you can make it. You can make them pick you. You can make them pick you up. That's cool. That's actually really kind of kind of a cool feature. Let's throw me. Can you throw me up? I don't know. Yes, they can. They can throw me up onto the ladder. Okay, so I can go all the way over here then, and I can bring that little platform down for them so that they can um, get up here where I'm at. But no, if you think about it, like, as far as, like, the implications on society goes, like, the media really does kind of control, and I, I, I'm guessing that's what this game is talking about, is that the media does kind of control, um, a lot of the times what people think. Like, you'll see, um, people will formulate their opinions and their thoughts based on the things they see, um, and the things they read and the things they hear. Even if, even if... Uh, Many times, those things that they read and hear are just a one-sided opinion or a one-sided point of view. Um, a lot of people don't care because as, as long as they feel like they're in the know, um, they're happy with that. You know, we have a rope up there, so I mean, I'm going to be able to, or is that a chain? Either way, either way, I should be able to get thrown up to it. There we go. Okay. Let me pop my back. I don't know what it is. Woke up this morning, my back was killing me. I mean, I have been doing, uh, for those of you who actually do care, okay, so there's a hole, which I, I don't, what's over here? Okay, it looks like there's, it looks like there's an area I need to get to over there, I'm not exactly sure how, uh, to get there. Uh, do I fall down the hole? I don't know, but no, um, it's just really interesting when people make games like this that make you actually think about, okay, this is obviously a commentary on what's happening in society today. And, you know, I, I'm one of those people that, like, I, I'll read something. And, you know, I think everybody is guilty of, like, the confirmation bias kind of thing, you know, where you'll, you'll read something and if... What well, confirmation bias is? You'll read something and if, it, it's, if it's in agreement with what you believe in, you'll just say fuck it and you'll agree with it. You know, that's that's what they call so you, you can move this so we can move this now that we have all these Pikmin <laughs> under our control, we can move this big cart. Which I wonder See what I'm wondering, I had to be down there to pull it. Now I'm wondering if I jump up here and I fall down onto the cart, will I have to be down there with them to push it? I don't, I don't think I will. I, th I think the game is going to change its rules on me. Yeah, the game's changing its rules. Oh, fuck. Did I just fuck up? I think I just fucked up. Might as well just kill myself. <laughs> Aw. He, f he fell down so gracefully. He fell down so gracefully. Such a sweet little boy. Uh, but yeah, no. <clears throat> I, think everybody, I think everybody is guilty of the confirmation bias thing. Let me know in the comment section. Actually, I'm, I'm really interested. I know I don't do questions of the day anymore. Uh, at least I'm <laughs> pushing one of the slaves. Get the fuck out of my way, bitch! Um, I know I don't do questions of the day like much anymore with stuff, except for like a few of my series, like my old Nintendo series. But I'd really be interested in if there was like a situation where you guys were like, "Oh, this is something," like you had the confirmation bias, like it's something like, "Oh, it's this is something I definitely agree with," and then you find out that it's not true, and then like maybe you had like an embarrassing moment. I've had that happen multiple times. Um, Something, something, something like uh, smaller is. Uh, I, m I remember this. This is a good one. Well, not really like good as far as like me getting fucked, but I remember back in Generation One of Pokemon when all I think all of the grass Pokemon, like the final evolutions of them, are grass poison. At least most of them, because I know uh, Victory Bell is grass poison. Okay, you can climb up this. Victory Bell's grass poison. Um, Vile Plume's Grass Poison, and Venusaur's Grass Poison. So I'd say the three main Grass-type Final Evolutions from that game, the three main ones as far as the, as far as like the triple lines go, I think they were all Grass and Poison. And for the longest time, I thought um, Grass was weak to Psychic because I didn't know when I was a kid that those had secondary... Okay, this, this puzzle is fucking ridiculous. I remember this taking me a while to figure out. So this thing doesn't rise up to the height you need it to, right? Um, so, okay, you, you pull this. You, you want to put the box on top. But this is physics-based. It's weight-based. So it doesn't. it's not going to work like that for you. 
and you have to think, okay, well, maybe I could, maybe I could reach it the first time I jumped up there, and I just didn't know it. But you can't. <laughs> so uh, it takes you a second. You have to think about it. Like this is one of those puzzles where it's like, hmm, what the hell do I need to do to make it to where this works correctly? Okay, so we've tried it three different ways now. We've tried it with just me standing on it. We've tried it with the box on it, right? Uh, wait, what were those are the two ways I've tried it. And we tried it with me and the box on it. Those are the three different ways we've tried it. And you can't reach it. You honestly can't reach it with you standing on it. So, see if this works. Okay, so that was a test run to see if it, if it raises all the way up, and it does. And so I have to think like, okay, it's you can see you can almost you can almost see the gears turning, and that almost gets that almost gets you high enough if you jump on it right when it comes out. But so what you have to actually end up doing is um, let's see, try and move a little bit closer here. What you have to actually end up doing is jumping on it at just the right time. There we go. Which I don't think that was right either. I think that was too soon. Yeah. But no, anyway, so I thought all of the grass Pokemon, I thought grass was weak to psychic because uh, back in the day I didn't have a strategy guide for red, blue, yellow. Or I don't think gold and silver for that matter. I had to go over to my, one of my friends', my friend's houses and he had the strategy guides for both of them. So I didn't know that the poison was weak to psychic. I thought it was grass that was weak to psychic. And so in future games like Ruby and Sapphire and uh, Diamond Pearl, whatever, for the longest time I was like, did they change the did they change the typing weaknesses in these fucking games or something? What the hell is going on? Until one day I had a friend that was like that I, I was like, remember back in Gen 1 when all the grass Pokemon, like all of them were fucking weak to psychic and now for some reason they aren't anymore? Why did they change that? And they were like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, dude, back in the day when fucking they like fucked up the typing. And he's like, no, they didn't, dude. All the Pokemon, the dual there were dual types back then, and all those main Pokemon were fucking grass and poison and I was like oh uh. <laughs> so something that I believed was right for a really really long time and uh, you know pretty much oh yeah so here's another thing I tried right like what if you put the box underneath it and fucking boom Fucking boom, that's what actually works. See, you think that you have to time the jump. And actually, to be honest with you, I recorded this quite a while ago, and I'm like looking back on it now. And <laughs> look at him falling. See, the animations are so cool in this game. Like, and, and it, that goes a long way to making you feel like you're actually in a real world. You know, that's a big deal. That's a big deal in a game to make you feel like you're actually there. I think with it, with other games, it doesn't matter as much. But in a game like this, that's obviously trying to tell a story through everything it does um like there's because there's a, obviously a really deep story well maybe not like super deep but at least a really cool surface level story that this game is trying to tell and the more you can make your audience believe in that the more they're going to believe that story and actually think about the implications that a society like this would have and i think that's really cool and i got i got some eyelashes stuck in my eye here let me get let me get that let me get that real fast but I like playing games like this. I kind of like adding my commentary afterwards because I feel like I can make it like a, it's almost like a little chill out session with me and you where me and you can talk. But let me know in the comments section, honestly. I mean, I don't know how many of you guys, okay, we're going to the top floor here. I don't know how many of you guys um, uh, legitimately like sit through these and watch everything or if you, uh, or if you just like watch a little bit of it and you're like, eh, fuck it, this is, this is very interesting. But, um, Okay. Oh god. This is the part that freaked me out because it's like you can pull this, but you can't. You can't put. You can't pull it all the way. So you have to push it. And I was like, "Well, fuck! All those guys are dead. <laughs> They're fucking dead. I'm sorry. They did not make it through. They did not make it through the day. I'm sorry." Um, but no, I, I'm, I'm genuinely interested to see if you guys had like some sort of confirmation bias that you believed either from yourself or from a, like an article you read online or something like that. That you were like, okay, yeah, this is right, and then someone else comes along, or some other article, or whatever comes along. Can they? Th oh, I think they can throw me over this gap. Yeah, I like the sound they when they make when they throw it, like, mm, mm. it's like you. Oh, 
We got this. We got this guy here who looks like he's dead. I want to say he's dead. I thought he's passed out drunk. You can't. Yeah, there's definitely some sort of bomb blast going on outside that fucking window. I mean, there's no other. There's no other thing. I think it would be. See, so drive him. In, just throw him out the fucking window. Can you throw him out the window? I don't think you can. I don't think it lets you. But here we go. So we got him here. Uh, and I think right below this is that little weighing platform. Actually, here, I'm going to fucking drink some coffee. And he's dead. See, for a minute there, it almost looked like he was alive. The way It almost looked like he was waving as he fell. Like, no! So I hope he wasn't alive. This game is dark as shit. That's part of the reason why I like it so much. Um, I like, I love, actually, I don't, yeah, I don't even like, I love games like this that actually make you think, like, uh, and make you feel like, like, what if, you know? Like, that's why I like the game Bioshock so much, not because the game is so, ga not because the game, like, gameplay-wise is so deep, because it's really not, it's really not that deep. I mean, it's kind of like just find weapons, upgrade them, use powers. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward game. But, like, the plot is so good. In the first time you play through that game, it's like, what the fuck? It's like a complete mindfuck. <laughs> Except the final boss sucks, but we'll get to that at a different time. Maybe maybe I will actually play through that game sometime. Or, or give it a review on my main channel. Maybe I'll do that. There we go. So now that we have all the slaves with us, we can go in here. Grab. Okay, we got another guy following us. We can go in here and we can grab some more. Oh, okay. They're going to have to probably throw me over there. There's no way. I can't make that jump. Damn, quite a fucking throw. That that's that was actually pretty impressive. I wonder if them. Oh shit! <laughs> Get a fucking give these give these poor fuckers whiplash. <laughs> I wonder if them being like completely mindless. You know how they say um like if you remove inhibitions from your body, like the mental blocks your own brain puts up, you can actually be more powerful. Like, I don't know if you've heard stories. I think I've talked about this before. Like, uh, there was a news story. Uh, there we go. We got him out. And they're going to probably just fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank God they're okay. Um, I heard uh, there was a news story I read a really, really, really read. Man, I'm fucking falling all over myself. There's a news story I read a really, really long time ago where um, this, I want to say it's it was a mother. I think it was a mother and her child was trapped in the car or underneath the car. Yeah. And she literally, she was so frightened and so determined to get her child out that she literally lifted up the entire fucking car and the kid was able to slither out from underneath the car. That is, see, when you think, when you think about stuff like that and it's like, it makes you wonder. Cause like, you remember like in shows like Dragon Ball Z? where uh, they can like duplicate their power level. Um, and uh, their power level duplicates, I don't know if you know this, but their power level duplicates uh, on however strong they are in their base form. And it one makes me wonder if like guys that are really buff or women that are really buff, really ripped, really fit, if when they those inhibitions get removed, okay, here we go. Everyone's on it. There's the dude I, there's the dude I threw off the ledge. See the music kicking in? God, it's so fucking atmospheric. Oh shit, we're out! We're out! I don't know if we're going out into something good though. Which is what's kind of frightening. Can I mess with the switch here? Ah, uh, it doesn't look like I can do anything with it. See, like, it's almost weird because it's like all these guys immediately stop following me for some reason. And here we go. We're we are officially out. Oh, okay. So the bomb blasts, or whatever those are, are literally so loud that they knocked off my fucking headpiece. Okay, so we have a little... Holy shit, okay, run, run! <laughs> There's another one coming, dude, where get the fuck out of there? Oh, I almost made it! Damn, I got fucking annihilated. See, I want to say this is like... I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to represent. Is this supposed to be like some sort of uh, like ongoing war? I don't think I'm gonna make it again. I, I don't think I pushed it far enough to make it. You can literally hear the main character like breathing really hard as he tries to run fast. Yeah, like I'm not sure what this is supposed to represent. 
Like obviously like it looks like some sort of looks like some sort of seismic wave. Yeah, if you back up, there you go, there you go. So that makes it to where I don't fall, right? Um, and I have just enough time to make it to the fucking little gate here, the little, um, the little wall, little tiny wall that's conveniently placed, just like everything else in this game, to protect our character. Okay, so we have, uh, I think what you need to do is pull this lever right when it, okay, now do it. Yeah, go, 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 okay, we're set, we're set. Alright, can we, oh shit. Stuff's falling. I don't know if I ran too soon there. No, I didn't. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, this part is actually kind of difficult. Um, what you have to do is you can um, you can pull this little lever right here, and it makes it to where this thing, which is looks like one of the like the oil pumping machines, but I'm not exactly sure what it really is. Um, look how the see. Look how the things are falling apart and shit. It's obvious that they put a lot of effort into this game, and uh, if you pull it to go right here, you can climb right, right to the spot where you need. You can get right up there. All right. When you hear the, like the sound coming, you're like, whoa. <laughs> and you think, okay, I just got fucking wrecked. So it's like, what? Uh, what do you need to do? Do you have to? What you have to do? Well, you'll see. But no, it makes me wonder, like I was saying earlier, it makes me wonder if people, people that are more muscular or more um, fit in general, when those inhibitions get removed, what can they do? Because I mean, like you've seen, you have to do, okay, yeah, I, was say, I did not get the timing right on that. But um, you have to think, like, uh, there's people that can fucking like pull buses and shit. What about when people like that? get their inhibitions removed, what are they able to do? Like, it's almost crazy to think about, you know? Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, be trying this bullshit again. Which is a huge mistake. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. It's not gonna... But I was thinking to myself, when I was doing this puzzle, I was like, is there really a way that I can make it to where... Look <laughs> all this shit flying at the screen. It's like, man, if only this game was 3D, dude. It'd be so cool. I like how, see, l even little details like the the little piece down there that keeps moving back and forth uh, with the bomb blasts. <gasps> little things like that. I love how the emphasis on animation really does make this world feel real and feel lived in. <clears throat> so you have to think, well, what the fuck can I do with this puzzle? And there we go. The clocks, the gears are turning right now. The gears are fucking turning and trying to figure out this puzzle. <clears throat> okay, so what you do here is you gotta wait. There we go. That should do it. <gasps> Maybe not. No, that did not do it. You have to do it at just the right time. Just the right time, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you gotta do. Okay, here we go. There you go, there you go, 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 go. This should be it. Hey, watch, watch, listen to the music. You see that? The game knows that I made it to a point where it's gonna be okay. So listen how fucking cool that is! Made it. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. We made it through, well, I guess we'll see if we make it through, the bomb blast area. Okay, well, I was gonna say, this is probably not... Okay, well that's obviously going to lift me up, I think, further than what I really need it to be. But yeah, you have to wait here. There you go. There you go. Fucking made it. We made it. We made it to the next part of- what is this? Oh, okay. This episode has gone on long enough. We're going to call it quits right here. Uh, let me know what you thought of it in the comment section, and I'll see you suckers soon.